All right, hi everybody. It's Bonka922 here to bring you um, Bleach chapter review. There you go. There you go. There it is. There it is. Um, this one I thought about really long and hard, and I'm gonna give this a four. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a four. Now I know some people probably might think, "Oh, that's too high." That's ridiculous. Why I'd say that? But for some reason, I felt this this was this was a good chapter because of how it was set up, how it was explained, how the important parts were explained. Um, you know, point 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 simple fact. Now, the beginning part of this chapter. We have Misaki, you know, and she's falling supposedly in this hole, um, a muted cold abyss. But oddly, she feels no fear. She fe and he's like, "Come, we'll find him, me, but who?" And then on the side it says, "Eisen's plot to corrupt Misaki's soul. Who will lead her? Who will lead their hand to save her?" And the next page, you got the hollow mask going after her. And everything pulling into silence, bleach 535, everything but the rain OP8, defenders. And that's when we see Kisuke. Now, this the reason I'm giving this a four to five was because of an explanation. Um This was done very well. I, I like how it was explained what holification was. I like that explanation. I also like how Kisuke explained what he was going to do to save Misaki. What needed to be done. And how, you know, he didn't really say... I like how, you know, Ryukin was saying, oh, you'll return her to the way she was. And he said, no, that's impossible. She's never going to be the same again. But I'm going to say, but he was illustrating that he was going to save her. That it's not impossible to save her life. But it is impossible to return her to the, her original state before she was infected. So, and that's basically what the story is here. And, you know, in the beginning he, he states that he has been doing research, and research into this condition that affected this girl for nearly a century. Um... And he says, you know, my name is Kisuke Uruhara. I was expelled from the Soul Society. And then Ishin kind of knew who he was. He was like, Kis Kisuke Uruhara, that means you're... So he kind of knew. Which, you know, I'm not surprised. I mean, you know, it, it, he should have known. He probably knows. I mean, this doesn't happen. This happens after... Kisuke's been expelled from the Soul Society. It's kind of funny that he's been expelled. And now, uh, you know, Ishin's going to fall in that suit. Now, Ryukin was very, I don't want to say melodramatic, but he was like really depressed. And he felt like shunned. Like he was getting the cold shoulder. The cold shoulder in this, in this chapter. Like, he was just, it was all about Ishin saving Misaki, and it was, he was just like, you know? Which I kind of found, found very strange in a way. And, you know, he says, oh, I don't care who you're from, just save Misaki, you know? Um, just save Misaki. And this, he says, to return to the state she was, that I never said I was capable of, of uh, Kisuke saying, of accomplishing such a feat. Will never go back to the way she was. Lay her down here. The metamorphosis currently undergoing is n as known as holification. And he then says to, and then, and then you know, freaking Ryukin's like, oh, that's bull, you know. Uh, he's upset about it and he says, don't get me wrong. I can't return her to the state she was, but it isn't impossible to save her life. That's basically what uh, Kisuke was saying. And they go further in talking about it. And he was talking about the what holification really essentially was, which is a hollow a hollow soul is injected into a normal person's soul, like a shinigami, 
And the reason for this is for um, the two souls to, to, you know, blur the boundary and for the, them, the normal soul, to gain an exceptional upgrade in strength and power. And that's what was done to Shinigamis to upgrade their power and so on and so forth. But he was saying that it was never used on a, it was never meant to be used on a Quincy. It is unstable and so on and so forth. And that's what he says. He pretty much is telling Ryukin she's not going back to where she was, but I am going to save her life. Pretty much, that's the story there. The rest of the chapter, he explains how. You know, this this term of soul suicide. Now, basically, soul suicide, what it means is, is when the hollow soul gets merged into with another soul, like a Quincy or a Shinigami, what ends on happening is that... Um, Um, it is, it's like, an interest between the soul and the external world, the strain on the soul becomes so extreme that it self-destructs on itself, and is known as soul suicide. That's basically the whole gist. So, um... And... Um, yeah, and, and basically he was re re referencing also in this that even though, you know, with, with, with the visors, they went through the same situation, but he was able to stop it at a certain point. Well, it wasn't, that wasn't Kisuke's doing, that was Eisen's doing. And this is what soul suicide is known, and he basically explains that, oh, you know, this this can be prevented, however, by um, prevent it. Simply put, by putting in something to counter 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 counteract the holification process, which is what he ends end up doing. And basic in this chapter, so he then explains that because uh, because Kisuke said did not Kisuke Ishin's like you lost me a while back, and he says, for example, if he were to take the light arrows from a Quincy and the souls of humans, I was able to create a vaccine and inject that vaccine into the souls of Shinigami, begun to undergo the holification process. He was then, at, during that process, able to stop soul suicide to 0%, meaning he was able to stop it completely and save the lives of the Shinigamis. But then he states that there's going to have to be something for Misaki more stronger than that that will eventually interfere with the holification process, a power strong enough to directly oppose it. And then Ryuk is like, bullshit! There has to be another alternative. And then Kisuke understands what he knows about the process, uh, Ryuk, and Ryuk, and, you know, saying, it seems you understand what I'm applying here. I know that will be as it will, but... In this case, the choice is not yours to make. The choice belongs to Ishin. So Ishin's got to choose to go with this or not. And basically what they're going to do is they're going to put Ishin in a shell. A human shell. And put that... He will be in that shell. So pretty much what he's going to end up turning Ishin into is a half Shinigami, half human hybrid. Become a Shinigami hybrid human hybrid. So, because the whole gist is, is that the opposite of a human is a hollow, and the opposite of Shinigami is a Quincy, so therefore, if Ishin becomes a human, he can go in there and save Misaki. And stop the holification process. And, um, and he's saying, that if you go through this, you'll be the exact opposite of her, leave the decision in your hands, let me point that green to this would put you in a handicap. Um, he will lose the ability of everything, Ishin, pretty much, from this process. He will lose his powers, he won't be able to sense hollows anymore, he will cease to be a Shinigami by being a hybrid. And that's pretty much the deal. Um, 
And then Ryugan's thinking about how he's not going to do it. He's just not going to do it. He wouldn't go through this this mo. Uh, he also he should talk. Well, not he should. Kisuke talks about a bunch of things about the 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 the, the reishi strings and souls. As long as you're connected to you, you'll never be able to leave the confines of the shell. It won't be until the hollow and the girl, free from the reishi string, will be able to exit the shell. Which means. I got it. Let's do this. <laughs> he should just says, oh, fuck it. Oh, uh, yeah, I know the story. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. So, and that's pretty much his deal, what he's saying. Let's go. We're sticking around. It's an easy choice to me. Don't you have any regrets? He says, oh, of course, I got a ton of them, but fucking ton. <laughs> if I were to let my savior die, savior die over some petty regrets, i will be able to look myself in the mirror tomorrow morning. I see. Well, then, let's get yourself ready. I'll commence the operation. And then we see a scene with Misaki's about to get swallowed by the hollow. Kind of. And then out of the blue, here comes Ishin. And he says, yo, your knight in shining armor has revived. A reunion of their souls. And that's where the chapter ends. Now, overall, this was a good chapter. I said it before. Four out of five. And it's because of the explanation. I liked how they had Kisuke explain soul suicide, holification process. I liked that whole spiel. I really liked it. It was good. There is the conception, though, that this might be going a little too quickly. I can see that. I can see that. But the thing is, this is about a lot of things, this flashback. This is about Ichigo, where, how he came to be, where he is now. So, and how his parents, you know, all that thing. And they're doing a great job. They're doing a really great job. And I like how they did this. Explaining Ishin, how he lost his powers. How he became what he is. Well, there you go. It's all because of Aizen. <laughs> but yeah, that's essentially what it is. Now, what happens next week is anybody's guess. I don't even know what's going to happen next week. Um, It's a real clusterfuck what's going to happen next week. Yeah, I, I don't know at all. Um, Maybe we'll have a situation where they're probably going to get out of there. He's going to, you know, attach her, you know, whatever... And help her and get the hollow, whatever, under control. And I'll save Misaki. And from there, it's probably just going to be them living together. You know, and, 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 and we'll probably, I don't know if we'll see, I suppose we'll get the whole thing with Misaki's death later on. But we'll really see on that. But like I said before, the reason why I'm giving this a 4 out of 5 is because I like how they set this up. This was set up very good. You've got Uhar, Kisuke, motherfucking Kisuke. He explained everything. He explained the holification process, soul suicide. He explained what needs to be done to save Masaki. And it was done in a way when I have to say, Kubo, you did a good job here. Kudos. Kudos to Kubo. <laughs> Kudos to Kubo. He did a good job here. I like this explanation. I like how they explained holification. All that jazz. Um, felt bad for, for Ryukin a little bit. That he was being getting the cold shoulder. But it was still a good chapter. I like where this is going. Good setup. That, that, that's, the, that's probably what I'm going to say. It's going to call this Defenders... Good setup, Kubo. Good setup. Good setup. He did a great setup. Great setup here. He's going to save Masaki. There is that kind of situation where how can you form a relationship between Ishin and Masaki thing. But it's more on the forms of forming a relationship on that. She saved him. He saved her. And then she so strongly but surely starts to like him along those lines. So, that's probably what's going to happen. And, this and like I said before, this clears every kind of question everyone had about Ichigo's powers. 
Like, this motherfucker is a Quincy. He's a fucking Soul Reaper. He's a fucking Wallow. He's a fucking Fullbringer. He's a human. How is this possible? Well, now we know. And knowing is half the battle. No. <laughs> Sorry there. A little, little joke there. And we know. So it all fits. Completely. So, yeah. Pretty good. Pretty good. So, yeah. And that's all I got for you guys. So, yeah. This is Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Also, before I leave, find this video. I got something to say. I found out who Friend is. And 20th Century Boys. Holy shit. That was, that was a mind fuck. And, well, I, you'll see a 20th Century Boys review in the coming future when I'm finished with it. So yeah, look forward to that. This is Bonkai 922. I'll see you guys later. Good fucking setup, people. Good setup. See ya.